Welcome to today's class. Our today's topic is chapter 1.2 MCQ and what problem. Today we will solve the MCQ problems and what problems from exercise 1.2. Okay, let's begin. Question number 1. MCQ question number 1 from exercise 1.2. Which one of the following is the square root of 289 divided by 361? In this case, we need to find the square root of 289 and 361 separately. Now, uh, you'll see that if we do rough here, 289 divided by 361, so we need to find the square root of this one. So if we uh, find the square root of 289 and square root of 361 separately, then we can easily find the answer. Uh, if you can remember in, from our previous classes how to find the square root of any perfect square number or any other integer number or any other decimal digits, you can follow that rules to find the square root of 289. The answer will be 17 divided by 19. So the answer will be B of number 1. Next. Which one of the following is the square root of 1 point, question number 2, 1.1025. We need to find the square root of this number. If we find the, uh, follow the rules, then we also can uh, easily find the answer, which will be question number C, 1.05. Now, look at question number 3. A rational number is... 1, 0, question, uh, option number 2, 5, and question number 3, 5 by 2. So, what will be the answer? Rational number. What is the rational number? Ra rational number. From the uh, word, you can separate ration, ratio and null. So, ratio, from ratio, we uh, got this word, the rational number. Uh, a number which can be written as the ratio of in some uh, fractions. That is, here, option number 1 was 0. So we can write 0 divided by 1. Because 1 is the denominator of any integer, any number. The 1 is, 1 can be written as the denominator. Option 2, 5. 5 also can be written as 5 divided by 1. So, these are the ratio, ratio. So, these are, these two are rational number. And of course, option number 3, option number 3, 5 by 2 is also a rational number. So, our answer will be question number 3, D. All the options are rational numbers. These three are rational numbers. Now, move on to next question. There is a stem given. Uh, the difference of squares of two consecutive numbers are... 19. The difference of squares of two consecutive numbers is 19. Answer to question number uh, 4 and 5 with the basis of this information. Question number 4. If one number is 10, what is the other number? Here, you, uh, from the question you can see two consecutive numbers. That is, one, if one number is 10, if one number is 10, then another number will be, another number will be either 9 or 11 because question asked that the two questions are consecutive numbers so now we find the squares the square of 10 is 100 the square of 11 is 121 and the square of 9 is 81 so which one is the difference is 19 so here if we difference we, if we find the difference of 181 we will get the difference as 19 so our answer is 9 so another number is 9 question number 4 c and question number 5 you can see what is the sum of the total squares of two numbers what is the summation of these two numbers it is 181 so it is also question number uh, it its answer also be c 181 now question number 6 
which of the following is the square root of 0.01 so square root of 0.01 will be 0.1 because if we multiply 0.1 times 0.1 we'll get 0.01 so the square root of 0.01 will be 0.1 so the answer is b here now next question question number seven if the digit in the unit place of any number 2 and uh, 8 2 or 8 the digit unit place of its square will be that means uh, suppose uh, we um, we just um, assume two uh, digits that is uh, one digit is 8 another digit is 12 where unit place is the 8 or 2 so if we square this if we find the square of this number it will be 64 if we find the square of this number it will be 144 say another digit 2 the square of this number will be 4 so the unit place will be 4 all the time so if any number which is square if we find the square of this number we also get the unit place uh, of this number will be 4 so if any number where unit place digit is 8 or 2 the square of that number in the unit place digit will be 4 so the answer is 7 number b the answer will be b now move on to question uh, page number 18 we will see another what uh, another mcq <coughs> Question number eight. By which number the multiplication or division of three times seven times five times seven times three will be a perfect square number? So this number, if we multiply or divide by a certain number, it will be a perfect square. So which number? To make it perfect square, we need to find the pairs. Here is 3. So if we write 3 as a pair, this will be a perfect square number. And if we write the 7 as a pair, it will be a perfect square number. But 5 is the only number here, which is not in pair. So if we multiply this total number by 5, it will be a perfect square. Or if we divide this total number by 5, it will also be a perfect square number. So the answer will be 5, that is 8. Question number 8, answer will be B. Now question number 9. Which one of the irrational number? Which one of the following is the irrational number? That is, what is irrational number? If a number cannot be written as the ratio, it is called irrational number. For example, uh, 1.5, we can write it at, as 3 by 2 or uh, 8 8 can be written as 8 by 1 or uh, 16 by 2 so any number if we can write it as the fraction of two numbers two integers then it will it is called a rational number if there is no such thing uh, by which we can write this uh, any number by uh, this ratio then we we say that that is irrational number that is uh, there are some example of irrational numbers like uh, root over 2 this is an, uh, a number Th there is a value of this number and you can if you calculate this you can uh, get uh, 1.73 and unlimited digits after decimal and this value cannot be written any uh, any rational format so this number is the irrational number on the other hand the options of 9 other options number b uh, root over 9 can be written as 3 so 3 can be written as 3 by 1 again root over 16 can be written as 4 and 4 can be written as 8 divided by 2 again uh, 25 25 is uh, equal to 5 and uh, and 5 can be written as 5 by 1 or 10 by 2 so we see that the options in question number 9 all the options are can be written as rational form except root over 2 so the answer will be a the other uh, examples of irrational numbers are like uh, root over uh, this will be 4 1 4 and unlimitedly for uh, root over 3 1.73 or something like that and root over 5 2 point something so these decimals digits are unlimited you can find uh, with uh, the rules that i we have learned in our previous class you can check this um, uh, digits cannot be written as any format of 
rational numbers. So these are irrational numbers. These are called irras ir irrational numbers. And um, now we will solve some uh, word problems from this chapter. Uh, let's begin with question number 15. Question number 15. You know, from previous class, we already finished question number 11, 12, 13, and 14. So we will start from question number 15 today. 15 number solution. At first, we read the question. At least how many soldiers is to be removed? Or at least how many soldiers uh, removed? Ought to be added with five, six, seven, two, eight soldiers so that the soldiers can be arranged in form of a square. That means there is a given number of uh, soldiers. The number, the given number is the given number is five, six, seven, two, eight. So at first we need to find uh, this square root of this number let's see five six seven two eight as you can remember we need to find the pair first and then we need to try the closest number two times two is four and if we subtract we get one here then we need to double this number four and now put down the next pair 67 if we multiply by 3 and here 43 it will be 129 now if we uh, <coughs> subtract this we will get 38 now and if we put down the next pair it will be this one if we make it double it will be 46 now if we multiply 1 2 3 4 like that we will get 8 will be the closest of this number which is um, uh, more or less 37 144 now subtract this format we will get 84 now see the given number of soldiers will can be formed in a square form that is the number of rows and number of columns will be same if there are 238 is the perfect square but 84 exceeds the number so if we remove if we just remove therefore if we just remove 84 soldiers it uh, soldiers it will be perfectly square shape now the question asks how many soldiers to be removed or to be added that is if we remove the answer will be 84 but if we add if you want to add uh, some more soldiers then it will not be the perfect square number of um, 238 anymore it will be just one uh, step ahead it will be one step ahead that is you need to add the number one with 231 now soldiers need to be added if we need if soldiers added then what then it will be 230 8 plus 1 is square that is 239 is square 239 is square so which answer will be uh, 239 is square will be uh, 57121 557,121 will be the square of 239 so what is what is the extra soldier need to be added so if we subtract uh, the given number of soldiers from our this result we will get the number of soldiers to be added therefore number of soldiers number of soldiers to be added to be added will be the difference of the difference of our is now our is new square of 239 that is 557,121 and the given number of soldiers that is 56,721. If we subtract this, we will get 393. So the number of soldiers is to be added will be 393. Now, if the question asks how many uh, uh, soldiers or uh, this th how many things should be removed, then we just remove the 
remainder of the uh, of our uh, perfect is, uh, perfect uh, square number from from the perfect square number the remainder should be removed and if we are asked to add how many soldiers to be added or how many things to be added then we need to find we need to add just one with our result of the perfect square number and then we need, uh, we have to find that square number and then we subtract the given number uh, which is given in the question then we uh, we get the number which is to be added this is um, how we can solve any kind of problem like this okay now uh, read question number 16 now read question number 16 uh, 2,740 students of a school are arranged in a square for display. Find the number of students in each row. From the question, you can uh, see that this is the perfect square number. So for uh, question number 16, solution will just be to find the square root of 2704. So question number 16 will be your HW. Question number two, uh, 16, you will try, it is very easy, just find the square root like this uh, method and then uh, the answer will be your required answer. Now we move on to question number 17. Let's uh, read at first the questions number 17 and then try to solve question number 17. Okay, question number 17 asks, question number 17, question number 17 asks, each number of a cooperative society subscribes 20 times the number of the uh, members in Takas. The total amount raised being Taka to 20,480, find the number of the members of the society. Here, uh, it is asked to find the number of the members of the society. So at first, we don't know how many members are there in the co cooperative society. So at first, we just, uh, we just uh, let the number of of members the number of members a, a b the number of members b x that is there are x number of members now every member gave taka every member gave taka that is each member subscribes or each member donate each member donate 20 times x taka each and every member gave 20 times x taka now what is the total money therefore total money collected the total money collected equal to number of member times number of uh, amount of taka number of members because each member donated that though. so x member donated more so we need to find uh, we need to multiply this number with this number that is each member donated to 20 times x taka and there are x members so we need to multiply x number so this is the total amount collected okay now according to question according to question or hypothetically or uh, from the question we get 20 x times x is equal to 20,480 so this is the total amount of money now we need to find the num value of x so if we want to find the value of x we just write here 20 times x square because x times x is x square it will be 20480 now if we divide both sides by 20 we will get 1024 dividing both sides by 20 dividing both sides by 20 we will get 1024 now if we uh, find the square root of 1024 what will we find we will get the number of <coughs> the square root of you can do rough if you want uh, 1024 so there are two pairs the closest number will be 3 3 times 3 and we will get double of this 3 so if we uh, here we add 2 here we add 2, 2 times 62 will be 124, so the answer will be 32, you can do rough here, you can do rough, 
so the number of members in that cooperative society will be 32 which is our required answer all, all right i think uh, you understand this now <coughs> question number uh, 20 is as like as this question number 17 if you uh, read the question you will understand so question number 20 also will be your homework question number 20 will also be your homework because question number 20 and question number 17 are exactly same so this will be uh, question number 20 also will be your homework now move on to question number 18 at first uh, we have to read the question question number 18 solution number 18 Solution number 18. Uh, in, a, in a garden, 36 trees were left excess. Uh, in a garden, 36 trees were left excess while planting 1800 trees in a square. All right. There are at first, uh, there were 1800 trees, and the owner of the garden wanted to plant the trees in a square format and while they uh, planted the uh, trees in a square format there were 36 trees left so find the number of trees in each row so from 1800 trees 36 trees are left so at first we need to subtract 36 from the number from the total number and we will get 1764 trees uh, that are planted at the trees were planted were planted now we need to find the square of this number if we need to pair 4 times 4 is 16 if we make it double uh, then it we put down 64 and if we put here 2 we will get 164 so our required answer is 42 so the number of therefore number of trees in each row number of trees in each row will be 42 our next problem is question number 19 what is the least perfect square number which is divisible by 9 15 and 25 uh, if uh, we read the question once again what is the least perfect square number least perfect square number which is divisible by three numbers that is 9 15 and 25 and there is a clue that they, uh, what is the least perfect square number so we need to find the LCM of uh, 9 15 and 25 then we can get the answer easily so the least numbers can, uh, we can write the least perfect number will be the least common multiples that is LCM of 9, 15 and 25. So if we find the LCM of 9, 15 and 25 by Euclid method at first we divide by 3 and then we divide by 5 and now the LCM will be 3 times 3 times 5 times 5. Uh, 3 times 3 will be, uh, <coughs> we also can write like uh, 15 times 15 because 5 times 3 is 15 and 5 times 3 is 15. So 15 times 15 will be 225 which is a perfect square number because 15 is a pair here. So 225 is the least perfect square number which is divisible by both uh, 9, 15 and 25. So our required answer is 225. Now move on to next question. Uh, question number 20 is your homework. Now you, uh, we move on to question number 21 here. Yeah? Question number, solution number 21. At first read the question. Uh, <clears throat> the difference of squares of two consecutive numbers is 37. Find the two numbers. Here, at first let 
the two numbers b x and x plus 1 uh, the two numbers are not given even one number is not given but the difference of the squares are given so if we want to find the difference of their squares so according to the question according to the question we can write x plus 1 is square x plus 1 is square minus that is difference of x square is equal to 37 which is given in the question so the difference of the squares of two consecutive numbers consecutive numbers means uh, if a number is x then another number is x plus 1 then find their squares and find the difference of them and then uh, the difference will be 37 so we need to find the value of x now we now we solve it for x so here uh, you can use the formula as well a plus b whole square will be a square plus 2ab uh, plus b square so <coughs> this is a way if you cannot find the uh, square here with the formula then you can do rough as x plus 1 times x plus 1 so this is how you can also find the squares of this number so x square plus 2x plus 1 will be the answer here if you do rough then now here x square and minus x square will be cancelled so what left 2 times x times 1 means 2x and 1 square means only 1 equal to 37 or if we uh, subtract 1 from both sides we will get 36 if we subtract 1 from both sides we will get 36 subtracting 1 from both sides and now finally x equal to 36 divided by 2 which is dividing both sides both sides by 2 dividing both sides by 2 so we will get the answer 18 so the first number will be 18 then the consecutive number will be therefore first number equal to 18 next number will be uh, 18 plus 1 because x is 18 x plus 1 is 18 plus 1 equal to 19 which is our required answers so the two numbers two consecutive numbers are 18 and 19 i hope you understand now we uh, move on to our next question question number 22 solution number 22 at first read the question and then try to solve 22 number solution Find two such least consecutive numbers so that the difference of squares of them is a perfect square. That means we need to find a difference of some two consecutive numbers square, which will be uh, uh, where, where the difference will be a perfect square number. That is, the two numbers are unknown. So they let the two consecutive numbers be x and uh, in this number we use n n and n plus 1 we can use x we can use a we can use n so no problem with that the two consecutive numbers will be n and n plus 1 so their subtraction will be n plus 1 square minus n square as like as the previous number now here the value of n can be 1 value can be of n can be 2 value of n can be 3 value of n can be 4 or any number any natural number now if we uh, use the value at first one first if n equal to 1 then what happened 1 plus 1 
whole square minus 1 square will be 1 plus 1, 2, 2 square means 4 minus 1 equal to 3, which is not a perfect square, which is not a perfect square. Square, so the answer cannot be uh, <coughs> one. So now, if n equal to two, if now we have to check each number, okay. So if n is equal to two, it will be two plus one whole square minus two square. That is, two plus one will be three. All right, three three square will be nine, and it will be four. So 9 minus 4 is 5, which is also not a perfect square. Now, uh, if again, uh, we need to erase the question from the big. Now, if n equal to 3, then it will be 3 plus 1 square minus 3 square, which will be 16 minus 9 equal to 7, which is also not a perfect square, which is not a perfect square number. Now, uh, if n is equal to 4, then we get 4 plus 1 square minus 4 square, which will be 25 whole square minus uh, 25 minus uh, 16 which will be 9 which is a perfect square this is a perfect square which is a perfect square so our required number is so our required uh, consecutive number is 4 and 5 therefore our required required consecutive tip list numbers are 4 and 5 which completes our answer uh, <coughs> we, uh, which is our today's topic in our next class we will solve some uh, creative questions from this chapter and until then goodbye